Are you ready for tomorrow? What's tomorrow? (sighs) What's tomorrow? What's tomorrow, bro? What are you doing tomorrow? Oh, my God, dude. Let the people know what you're doing. Oh, my God. I I didn't even remember. I'm going to go see the Jordan Peterson, dude. You're going to go see the king. Backstage access. Backstage. Meet and greet. I'm, I've been on a two week no fap just leading up to this. So you're gonna get your every picture. time I think about jerking off, I go. What would you? I can't Peterson look. Do? I can't look at that man in the fucking eye, dude. After jerking off, like I was gonna take an Epsom salt bath today, and I'm like, maybe I'll jerk off in the bathtub. I haven't done that in a while, and I'll go and then shake Jordan Peterson's hand tomorrow and look him in the I eye. I don't think so. I don't fucking think so. Bro. I don't. I do. And there's not no think. way I jerk off for another week after going to Jordan Peterson. I'm on like a two week. <laughs> I'm staring down like a two week no fap, dude. Nice. It's not bad. Nice. I'm about to break my record of. Nine days. Not dude. bad at all. <laughs> Nine days is your record? World record, yeah. Of no fap or just no cum? Okay, yeah. Seven days is no cum. No fap, I think, is like 12. So, it's still, I'll impressive. break my record two weeks. I I'll hit 21. Ooh, no cum at all? 21 days I, I cummed. Yeah, there was some coming in there, but 21 days no fap. That's good. Yeah. That's soft mode, basically. If you if you can get released, that's soft mode, no fap. Just like a girl can release you or... What? Or a guy. A guy could release I, you. A guy could. I'm not doing that, though. I a don't guy do could. I'm, I'm saying it could. It's an option. There's nothing funny about that. It's an option, dude. I think you, you're sitting there snickering, thinking like, oh, it's funny. Gay <gasps> Homosexuality is funny. It it's is like, funny. How, how old are you? It's hilarious, Grow up, dude. No. It's 2018. I take it back, dude. I mean, I'm not going to brag, dude. I take it back to my landmark bit back when I jumped back into stand-up after a month of inactivity and talked about how no fat makes me gay. And I like literally today, I saw, I literally, <laughs> dude, I like made, that was all made up about how like if I do no fap, my big thing is like I'll start kind of getting gay inadvertently because I'm so horny. Yeah. And today I was, and just like I said, like I'll see a mailman with strong legs and be like, whoa. Fuck, He'll do. He'll do. Fuck it. And like yeah. today there was a guy across the street and out of the corner of my eye, he was kind of like rotund and like voluptuous. I thought it was a girl. And I'm he was like, a Fuck voluptuous yeah. and I looked man. And it was a dude and I was just like, for like a second, I was like. Uh, Jesus Christ! Dude. Oh, so he had you, the shape, and I just like walked back inside. You walk, yeah, you you saw him. Well, if I get horny enough, dude, I understand the gladiator. They say like a lot of the gladiators are like we're gay down there. It's like it's I, like prison. I mean, I'm not I'm not saying I'm a gladiator exactly, but I have been doing jujitsu for two weeks, so it's like now I'm getting super gay urges. It's like it all makes sense, dude. Yeah. Now I want to. But you're a warrior, dude. You understand the exactly. camaraderie between men. Exactly. This dude. masculine camaraderie <laughs> that you've. You know, you encounter you're a warrior. Man, I'm just encountering chaos, dude. So you're then I got to, I got to now, talk to the fucking master. Dude. So tomorrow, you, tomorrow you get to. See I don't know the what master. I'm going to say to him, dude. You can be like, oh, oh, I haven't jerked off in nine days. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I can't fucking, dude. I can't wait to just look at that man in his eyes and just be like, Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah, well, get ready. You're about he's to see legend, an autistic Canadian weirdo. Dude, he's not autistic. At all. He's, he's very a fucking, fucking intellectual auti- dude. You're he, gonna see. He's like, oh, th- thank he's, you. He's so. Dude, he's the opposite of autistic, dude. He talks he's not. Yes, he is. He, dude, he. I mean, what's your definition of autism? The inability to express emotion. If Jordan Peterson thinks about incels, he cries, dude. Do you ever see those clips of him when he starts talking about the young men and how directionless they are? And he goes, and it just, it's just a bloody shame. And he starts to cry, dude, thinking about the state shame. of lost men. It's a damn shame. He's gonna be fired up from the bullshit hit piece. The bullshit ass monk debates. Dude. The Jewish failing New York Times set out a hit piece on him. Yo, they hate. Well, yo, he, okay. <laughs> Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, dude. I mean, take this as it is. But I'm real into black. I, I identify politically as a black conservative right now. Yeah, black conservatism is the absolute death of. So you SJW you identify as a black conservative it's because why? Then you can just be a conservative and not be called a racist. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had to think about you that. I'm like, like uh, I'm yeah. pretty much black. I'm a black conservative. No, that's bl- politically. Like the, well, in today's world, there's it's all imaginary, like force fields, mm-hmm. and like I can shoot you, but you can't hit me. It's like, <laughs> nah, I'm wearing a force field, you can't hit me. So, a black conservative, when they come out, they're like, I'm conservative, and they're like, oh, that means you're racist. I'm sh- I'm shooting you with bullets, and he's like, I have a force field that you can't hit with bullets, dude. It it exactly is that. But then if you, I watch a lot of black conservative YouTubers, and they tell a lot of their white subscribers, they're like, stop letting these people call you racist. Fuck them. They're just just say what you need to say, dude. He's like, I'm saying the same. Like a lot of those guys, fuck, who was I can't remember the guy's name, but he was saying that. uh he was like a lot of like my you know my white compatriots will be like yeah but you can say that kind of stuff and he's like dude so can you don't. no, you, no like, that's not how that works I know but he's like don't let them even bully you for a second dude he's like just get out there don't let them bully you you'll fucking yeah. get fired 
That's yeah. getting bullied. I mean, that is true. That's true. The far left is just the motherfuckers. It's, dude. They're getting you. But it's a pure. It was like a mugging, dude. I mean, I think it was a dem girls, dem sugar mugging, dude. I just literally had one arm on him and just squeezed and pulled back, and it, it was just, it was this ugly. Is, this it was is, ugly. Hold dude. on, I found I found my detractor statement. It was ugly. I found my haters Let's statement. Have it, dude. This is. Uh, I read this before I went on. Before I went on stage, I read this guy. I was arguing with people. Why do you do this to yourself? So this guy was like, all of Peterson's listeners and followers are clowns. Same with most of the Rogan Rogan listeners. Uh, And that fucking loser, Shane, whose shtick as an unfunny comedian is to be a fat oaf and talk about PC culture and liberals. It's not even your shtick. That's what I said. I was like, how is that my fucking shtick? Talk about yourself. Yeah. Anyway, I was like, what, yeah. What uh, podcast does he listen to? I, I'd be curious. I don't know. About. But I, I don't get the Rogan hate, too. Rogan's uh, the man. I, I don't get the Peterson. I get the Peterson hate, but I attribute it to small mindedness. So it's like, I get it, but if you watch enough of his stuff, it's all he's telling people is to take it. Take I know. So what, what happens Responsibility with, for your own life. In my opinion, what happens a lot with Peterson, and we're back. No, what it's happens not with political. Peterson a lot it's is about like, the comment. Is like, so Peterson will talk about how he's like, witches are in swamps. There's a reason they're in swamps. Mm -hmm. So it's like he uses these silly, like you can dismiss them as silly. You can. He's like, the movie Frozen, it's just, it's propaganda. That's all it is. And like, so in order to combat that, you can just be like, who are you listening to? That fucking YouTuber that's railing on fucking Disney movies? That's exactly my point. So that's, but if you're high in openness like me, it's like I'm highly open to archetypical ideas like that. So I can be like, all right, I get what you're saying. I'm not going to judge the man on, you know. Dude, the shut up. I'm just a fat oaf. And I'm, I mean, I'm an INFP, bro. I'm, my, one, per, my I'm whole, 1%. I'm my INFP. Whole, dude, my whole shtick as an unfunny comedian <laughs> is to be a fat oaf that talks about PC culture and liberals. Who is this guy, dude? I don't know. He's some, I mean, guy, he's some guy from fucking Oregon. Ugh. He's fans. I, th- there's like a fan of section, uh-huh. and it shows you what teams they like. He likes the MLS Portland Timbers. Of as soon as I saw he liked MLS Portland Timbers, I was like, all right, this guy's a fucking dweeb. Oh, Major League Soccer? Yeah. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. We got to get him over to the fucking. The and board, then DQ, dude. dude. Dairy Queen's in there. Not defending me at all. Of course not, dude. Dairy Queen's a little fucking snake, dude. Of course. Dude. I'm in there getting. I'm getting torn to shreds. He's Dairy just Queen's slithering around between boards, dude. Slithering like the liberal snake he is. So people jumped on with this guy. No, not really. Because then I, I was like, "Here's." I posted a clip of me doing stand up. Yeah. And I was like, "Here's." I mean, I spend more time making fun of Republicans than I do liberals. Yeah. And fuck you. So I was like, I mean, you definitely have the fat oaf, right? You poor Gonian <laughs> bitch, dude. Yeah, but it's like, Jesus Christ. I just don't get it. And I, mean, I, didn't I, get even, it. I didn't even in the thread. I wasn't even like defending just Jordan Peterson. He just summoned you, dude. What? He just summoned you and tagged. He just mel- he, he melded you into Jordan Peterson, Peters- Jordan Peterson, Rogan, and then Gillis, dude. True. He did fucking king make me. But Jeez. also it's like, I wasn't even in there defending Jordan Peterson. I was just like, why are you guys like, if, if you think he's this fucking complete loser... Don't listen to it. And shut the fuck up. Yeah. And like, maybe, go, yeah, say he's a complete loser, but like, listen to it, if that's going to be your take. Listen to what he says a little. But I mean, whatever, whatever, whatever. They don't, dude, it's, it's just, I'm telling you, I've watched. I didn't think I was going to end up. I've watched 30 hours of his shit. All he's saying is that just work on taking care of yourself. You can't change the world. You can work on yourself. And then people hear that and they go, man, I went away again myself. Or they just read a New York Times article and go, witches? What an yeah. idiot! And it's like, all right, man, whatever. But I you're mean, gonna you're gonna shake his hand tomorrow. I get to you're gonna shake face the, to fucking face, the dude. Lord. I can't fucking wait, dude. Jordan Peterson, you're gonna see. him I'm gonna tomorrow. frame the picture. It's gonna be blown up in my fucking. Yeah, what you should do. So a lot of people are getting ashamed of him, dude. Because I have that one extra ticket, dude. And a lot of people are like, oh, I, 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 I yeah. can't do it. I'm like, hey, man. Oh yeah. Well, I was gonna say we should give it to O'Connor, but after last night's display, he's out. You think you're gonna kick him out? I Bring don't him in, dude. Fuck that. Bring him into the he fold, He's sitting dude. there, like, drunk, yelling at me that Jordan Peterson's a retard. I was like, all right, that's fine. Yeah, that's I don't thing. care. Uh, the other thing... I, I don't care. He chaps my ass and they call him, like, a pop psychologist. He's like, dude, if you study psychology, he's cited in, like, hundreds of studies. But I digress, dude. Whatever. I do think he's... The problem, in my opinion, what's happening, he's definitely getting overexposed right now. Yeah. There's, he's, there's too much he's shit out there. He's doing too much. He's doing way too much. He's doing way too much. He's doing way too much. He's doing too much. He's doing too much. He's doing too much, and that's leaving him vulnerable because he's doing hours and hours of talks. I know. He's going to say a ton of dumb shit. Yeah. 
And like I said, I was like, listen to our podcast for five fucking minutes. Dude, you and me are done <laughs> politically. I was, dude, remember when one time we had to do like a small interview with a very, that paper before the show we did that one time, a Ziggler yeah. show? Oh. I remember, no, no, not even that. Remember, okay, I'm going to take you back again. Post digital graffiti, when that lady, that reporter came and talked to us. Dude, I said so much shit that I was like, I hope she doesn't put this oh in here. Oh my God. You give me like a cider. Yeah. And you put me in a room and you're like, what do you think about this? I'm fired from everything, yeah, dude. We did a show I'm where... I'm toast. Where I can't, you, I can't, dude. You make fun of people pretty harshly, and this chick came and interviewed us, and it was like, we were sitting there after the show, so we're all fucking high yeah. and mighty. The show went well. Yeah. Drinking. So she's like, what do you think about, like, PC culture? I'm like, fuck that shit. Like, this fucking... Uh, dude, this fucking gay. I got into <laughs> so this, like, bad. weird wormhole. I, remember, I don't even remember what I was explaining, and it it's something to do with race, and I just was saying it so badly... Yeah, I remember you looking at me, and I'm like, no, 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 it's it's like, uh, and I just can never interviewed sucks. Imagine the New York Times, like, I know who also are really actually trying to pick with your words. It's like, if somebody tried to write a hit piece on me, it wouldn't be that hard. (laughs) It'd be like this guy's a fucking piece of shit. It wouldn't be hard, dude. But uh, I did that interview here. I told you about that. Like I mean, a couple someone, weeks someone, ago. someone wrote a hit piece on me, it would end up with me being like Anthony Weiner did in jail, dude. Like, it would <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If somebody explained what I was up to, <laughs> it wouldn't be like, oh, I don't like him. It'd be like, we got to get rid of this guy. Yeah, I'd be, but no, that one I did an interview like three weeks ago. I oh told yeah, you about that's that. right. That's where where is the, that? Where is I don't it? know. I don't know. I haven't looked for I it. I need to I see that. Wanna, it's gonna, gonna be find, so embarrassing. It. It's gonna be great, dude. I literally woke up at twelve. The interview was at like twelve fifteen. Is it in my living room? You think it's a hit piece? It could be a hit piece because they were like, <laughs> so I was sitting there like eating Chinese food during the interview. And they're like, you mind if we get you like some pictures of like you eating the Chinese food? And I was like, no, dude. Like, I think they were trying to encapsulate how much of a. Yeah, they probably were just like, oh, this is funny. This guy's eating Chinese food. I'm eating. Food. I'm, I was wearing my fucking camouflage sheets. What was the publication? I have no idea. There's going to be no details about this. Uh, dude, I have this. I'll find I'll, it. I'll eventually People will I'll find, find it. it. But our fucking our army of seventy three or seventy four sometimes depending it'll fucking, oh shit it'll, we lost one we always it goes up and down dude it goes up and down anyway subscribe to the Reddit dude join the Reddit yes and we're not gonna tell you how to do it it's only dude, for the, it's the secret Reddit dude. MS secret podcast dude yeah you told him <laughs> don't do or you can do hashtag Chat Nation however you want to get there but um yeah getting interviewed is uh like the four or five interviews I've done every single time I come out looking like a fucking idiot. It's hard. Yeah. Especially so, talking about comedy. Yeah. Because no matter what, you're going to sound like a pretentious douche. Yeah. When you're like, yeah, just one day at a time. It's like, oh, just grinding. I'm just like outside of like a lot of different stuff. It's like, I try not to talk politics and stuff on stage. And uh, <laughs> I just try, I mean, it, it's important to be funny. Yeah. It's important to be funny. That's it's, it. At the end of the day, you're just fucking around. People take it too seriously. Yeah. It's, it sucks. Uh, yeah. I fucking sucks, dude. Uh, and then anytime I talk comedy on this podcast, I feel like a fucking idiot. People like hearing it. I've heard people before. I've heard people before being like, Christ. I love hearing you guys talk about stand up. And people are genuinely interested, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. So you, you were rolling. You pinned, you fucking choked a guy in front I'm of your sense. You got my first tap. That's, that's good. That's what you should tell Jordan. Tomorrow, that I like, that I wouldn't tell him. You, you should not tell him that you haven't been jerking off because of him. I might I'm tell him I'm quitting porn. You should say both. You could say, Jordan, it's nice to meet you. I haven't been, I haven't jerked off in nine days. Also, I choked a guy at jujitsu last week, and I think it's because of you. All because I, I just, told you, and I really like you. Actually, told me about him. You told me about the podcast, yeah. but when he really thunderstruck me, I was, I was in my room. It was like maybe two thirty three in the morning. And I was watching the maps and meaning lectures, and he he discusses Pinocchio. In a way where it's like, dude, the whole Gets fable, the whole fable was basically like Pinocchio was supposed to go to school, and then someone stopped him on. He's doing what he was supposed to do, and someone on the way was like, "Dude, you don't have to go to school. You should be in show business." And I'm like, in my room, just like stoned as fuck, just like they I'm lead him Pinocchio. to show business. It's a total disaster. Everyone's just laughing at him, dude. No one's laughing with him. <laughs> so I'm like sitting there at two thirty in the morning. Everyone's yelling and carrying on below me downstairs, and I'm just like, "This is an old old house." You were in the, you were in the. What, what sitting, was it called? The Donkeys. What was the island? Uh, pleasure I- or treasure? Pleasure Island. You were on Pleasure Island. So dude, they didn't even get to that yet. So then he does. Yeah. They do that, and I'm like, "Whoa, that's kind of weird." And then like, so then he, you know, that they rescue him from that. Like, come on, man. All right, school. Let's go. And then whatever. Without getting too into it, the, the guy finds him again. Is like, "Yo, show business was tough. That was a fluke." You need some time off. You worked hard, man. You're a vic- like kind of being like you're a victim. You need time. You need time yeah. to relax. 
takes me to Pleasure Island where, like, if you just sit there and fuck around and you don't... It's just kids indulging in their vices and eventually you turn into a jackass and you're sold off as a beast of burden. And I was just... It's pretty fucking true. That's exactly what up. happens. That's what happens. You and fuck I'm, around so long, you end up being a fucking mechanic the rest of your life. Yeah, pretty you're much, Like yeah. a shitty mechanic. <clears throat> exactly, yeah. You I mean, it's not the wrong being a mechanic, but be, it's like... Yeah, exactly. That was the wrong... No, but, but I... you know what I mean. I know exactly what you mean. I yeah. fucking was looking at... I was looking at it. I Demolition laborer, dude. That's my fucking... That's... Yeah. I, I already had my donkey tail, tail in my ears, dude. It's like I've been there. You perked up. So I'm ears, watching this. Alert, I was just like, oh. And then he's, you know, I'm fucking stoned. He starts talking about going into the belly of the whale. And I'm like, oh my God. But that alone, I'm like, dude, that's a good thing for young men to hear. And it's like, then you have people being like, he said that women can't wear makeup. It's like, dude, you're so beside the point, bro. Think about the fuck. People don't want to imagine themselves, realize they're on Pleasure Island, dude. That's the problem. Yeah. You get some 23 year old who's like, no, I'm actually just in an open relationship. And it's yeah. like, all right, bro. We'll see how being in an open relationship and well, doing cocaine. Well, he dog-whistled to you because you're a white male. There's black so people who love you. Jordan Peterson, dude. It worked for dude, you. Dude, some of my black conservative friends love Jordan Peterson, dude. Don't even you, start. Matt, oh, see the identity the politics you play? The only reason it worked is because yep. you're a white man. Uh -huh. That's the only reason Jordan Peterson... That's, it triggered you. You were sitting there and you were like, I'm a strong white man. <laughs> I should be great and Aryan. That's such, a, that's such a nice thing to say. That's during a, a hell of a thing to say. <laughs> that's what he said. I that's forgot. a hell of a thing to say in a debate. <laughs> when he get his nerd rage is so strong. When he was like, he's like, precise. 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 When the, guy, the guy goes like, oh, precise. He goes, yes, precise. Dude, he's he gets, like looking down. He's like, yeah, precise. <laughs> there was he, one he's autistic, dude. When he goes, he's definitely. Well, dude. Watch his eyes and how he looks around during that debate. Jordan Peterson, we're he's both like, very oh, high in openness. Oh. We're high in openness, dude. The funniest, do you ever see the memes of Dr. Strange? Do you ever see the Jordan Peterson versus Sam Harris when they liken it to, I think, Captain America and Dr. Strange? No, Iron Man and Dr. Strange. So they, they do things and they, they call Jordan Peterson Dr. Strange because he's always doing weird circles with his hands. <laughs> dude. And Sam Harris is like Iron Man, dude. It's so fucking Jordan funny. Jordan Peterson and Sam Harris's debate bothered me so much. They're doing another one. It's so annoying. Yeah, the first one sucked. Like, we bad. need to establish what truth is before we yeah. can take, like, he's like... Now let's go back and put a pin on this. Yeah, he has that NPR voice. It's like, yeah, so the, what we need to do is discuss uh, this, it's truth. It's, what, it's so fucking annoying to hear them I go mean, back. I mean, dude. It's talking about nothing. Yeah, that uh, it is, it's a level of abstraction that's just useless to most people. The, you know who I do fuck with, though? Rupert Sheldrake. Who's that? He's just a British, uh, he's like a British intellectual. You're a classic British liberal. I was. Black conservative. I was until I became a black conservative, dude. <laughs> But he's a, he like battles all the Dawkins and all the atheists. He's a he's like a guy. I who, hate atheists, dude. This guy, if you want an oh, if you want to win arguments versus atheists, watch Rupert Sheldrake, and he gives you sick arguments to beat people with. That's uh, that's O'Connor's gripe with, um, Jordan, Jordan Peterson. Peterson religion. Yeah, but it, the thing is, atheists always battle people on religion by pointing out how weird religion is. But if you attack an atheist on their philosophy of being like, so what do you exactly believe? And they're like, they get into like their Matter is unconscious, the universe is unconscious, but then that leaves consciousness where it's like, where does that come from? And they're just like, uh, and that's like, all right, shut Damn. Up. Dude, come you're on. just out here. I'm, I'm on, dude, I'm all day, every day, dude, doing double crossovers, dude. What's I up? Can't, I can't tell if this is the worst podcast. It's we've great, ever done. dude. Every time you hate them, it's fucking great. And it's the third time's a charm, dude. No, Calm I think down. it's a good system. Uh, I think it needs, it needs to be tweaked. It needs some tweaks. Democratic cooperatives, dude. That's, I want to start a company that's a full democratic cooperative. Why? Because the, the what top, is a demo? I don't even know what that is. It what just is it? gets rid of the whole top-down hierarchy type of thing. So you, you definitely do. Dude, have this like, clashes hard with your Jordan Peterson fanhood. I only I like Jordan Peterson. He's done Peterson's, with JP. I, no, no, no. Really? He I'll, disavowed people, Jordan people, Peterson. People get it fucked up because no one's to put the time in. I like his maps <laughs> and meaning. I like his Jungian analysis. I don't care for the politics, bro. He's fucking. Dumb Although I was ass, stoked dude. when he like told everyone to shut the fuck up at college. I was sick. You hear him? He's what? a dumb ass. He just said Jordan Peterson. His young analysis. I, well, sick. I don't think he's dumb. I think he's really smart, but I think he's. Uh, I think he's. Chris dishonest. is so fucking left leaning. I think he's that no matter what, like he'll, he'll say that about Jordan. He's so happy to be like Jordan Peterson's a fucking idiot. No, no. Meanwhile, he's like Alexandria Cortez is great. Well, I'm just having a little fun here. What but... I what I'll say about JP. <laughs> Is that when is he funny? debated? When he debated, comedy? I couldn't tell. Dude, I tossed yeah. junk out. He debated like that. Sam yeah. Harris. He, he did a full. It to he Sam did Harris. a full postmodern. He did Ooh. like the postmodern interpretation of the Bible. And I heard that, and I was like, JP, bro. Yeah, but did, did you like? JP, it was like that depends on how you read it. On it was that like, bitch, Sam Harris. Oh my dude. god, he got so deep dicked on. Well, that also, it was like it was the most impossible debate. It was like. 
uh, why is God like chopping people's hands off? It's dumb. He's like, you don't understand the stories. <laughs> yeah, but dude, like, was... admit it's fucking stupid. And he was like, no, I can't. Yeah, he did that. He, he did get fucked up. I was watching like, he got fucked up, dude. Ooh. But it was like the most. All he had to do was be like, all right, well, what do you believe in, Sam Harris? That's how you get an atheist. Like, well, what do you believe in? And they they you typically start saying something that comes out of like some sort of religious tradition. Yeah. No, but he he asked Jordan Jordan Peterson what he thought about God, and he's like, I don't. He's like, I don't know what you think about God. You're like, have a very confusing yeah interpretation of it, and uh, he was like, I'm not sure even you know what you think. And he's yeah. like, he's like, I don't know anything about my own mind. Was basically his answer. How could I possibly know what I think? Was his answer? And I mean, it's just as like, a that, is that, that's is that the biggest dodge? No, that's it's valid. But he, uh, his whole Sam thing, Harris sucks. Dude, Peter Sam, Harris is Sam Harris was like, all right, <laughs> Sam he's like, I get. He's this like, is like exactly the conflict he wanted to. He's avoid. like, I get. He's like, I get. JP. Finally, I was trying to tap out of this podcast, yeah. but I'm, I got the I'm, boys. Dude, <laughs> JP, JP's, dude, JP's a man. He's sick. He's but a he, man. When he did the religious thing, <laughs> Sam Harris was like, all right, JP, I get that. Like, you can like. Look at like the meta structure of these analogies and shit, or these like you know all these stories. He's like the average person's like, there's a dude in the sky, who's yeah, yeah, down on us and doesn't want us to jerk yeah. off. And Peterson was like, well, I mean, I could argue against the jerking off stuff, and I was like, yes, dude, yeah, 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 stay yeah, in the pocket, it. bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But he did get it, it was, it got so bad to the point where like um, Brett Weinstein had to kind of stop in a couple times and take him off the ropes. I'm like, all right, yeah. all, right all right, let's switch, yeah, yeah. dude. And when we went to that, we saw him talk. We went, you bought us tickets, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Man, Mc- Mc- yeah no, Connie went. Yeah, yeah. you treated spot. us. You blessed treated us. Everyone, dude. Yeah, it was, uh, that, that was, was awesome. it was it was fun. But then like little political rally ish. Oh, the first, the, the first the whole, two. Well, that's also what bums sucked. me out is he brings fucking Dave Rubin with him yeah, everywhere. Dude, Dave, Rubin Dave Rubin sucks. Dave Rubin sucks. And it's like Candace Owens right? was weird. Uh, it's also kind of like she, that's uh, what fucking but, yeah that was weird. She was like yeah, and everyone's like Whoa. she's like I'm black. Everybody in there was like, "Woo, yeah, yeah we got one, we got yeah. one." And that's what fucking hack bad comedians do is they bring shitty comics. To open up for him. You did good last night. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Uh, Dave Rubin was very disappointing when he came out with this shit, like, political material. Did you see him drunkenly drunkenly try to end his Patreon or, like, close his account? Mm -hmm. It was fucking hilarious. I'm against the... uh, them say whatever it was. Peterson did it, too. He was, like, cashing in, like, 50 Gs or 25 Gs a a month. And he stepped away from it. I mean, he's clocking. That's kind of a respectable move. I, I do. He's clocking do 80 that. grand from speaking tours. Yeah, yeah. But they're also, they probably have a thing. They Dude, the thing they have in the works is probably they're going to set up their own. Thing. I think that is what they're trying to yeah, do. Yeah, right? they're going to get yeah, 100% yeah. of the profit and other yeah. people's profits. Yeah, yeah. JP is an unabashed fucking capitalist. Yeah. He's a classic British liberal. You're a classic British liberal. No, You're not. a black conservative, classic British liberal. I was a classic Anarchist. Liberal. Anarchist, black conservative. I'm a black conservative anarchist who wants to start a democratic cooperative. Who wants to start a democratic cooperative? That's the. I think that's the only way. That's the only way, dude. I mean, don't get me started on how the fucking market just completely absorbed the. Uh, the, mar- the market is battle, dude. It's absorbed the fucking our military conflicts are just played out behind fucking yep. dollar signs now. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, of that, absolutely. Chris? I agree with that. Why do you want to go to war with Russia? We're already at war with dude. The top down exactly hierarchy has been fractalized into say. all of our fucking no. We are. We are. He's a fucking war hawk, dude. What, what do you think about neoliberalism? I, uh, He's a neoliberal, dude. I think I am a neoliberal. Yeah, that markets should dictate like every aspect of the, a true neoliberal. Maybe yeah. Once maybe like not, the government don't to just know completely that function as a business. There's a lot of different definitions of it just so it's like the 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 fact that we like have just when they're like we need a fucking i want i want big corporations and government fighting so that they don't pay attention to me you're keynesian yeah classic fucking keynesian Keynesian. that's what i I want i'm more undertaker yeah the more the more those two titans are (laughs) (laughs) i'm a big undertaker guy i want the markets to be dead and then sit up (laughs) and tombstone the the casket dude i love i casket matches I think that's a big part of my economy. For sure. I love tombstones. For sure. <laughs> I think we all agree with this. putting your eyes up and showing the whites oh, of your eyes. Rolling your eyes when you walk out to a fucking arena of <laughs> retarded people. That's the R vote, dude. That's the retard vote. 